What's up YouTube? This is Cobra Timmy and I'm here to present you with Cobras on the Web episode number 8. Episode number 8 has one pickup but it's two different live streams from the uh, Facebook, group, uh, Facebook group named Love for Retro. Um, as, as I've said repeatedly through the last few on the web videos that this is a live auction that you can purchase video games, comics, uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, so on and so forth through them. Uh, these are some of the purchases that I picked through them for the last two streams they've had. I literally just got this package a couple days ago, so let's see what's inside it here. Um, he did tell me he threw some extras in because it took a while to get. Uh, I took all the, sh the extra packaging out of here because he loaded it up so it wouldn't be all loose like this. But this is how I got it all with some like packaging in here to take away the space. These I believe are some of the freebies here so I'm going to go through this first. And then this I know is a part that went in here. Let's go through this. Because I see some stuff here that I don't recognize. Looks like we got some assorted manuals. And slip sleeves. Which first is a cover art for Return to Castle Wolfenstein Tides of War for Xbox. A manual for Tony Hawk's Underground. Brother in Arms Hell's Highway, a PC manual. Uh, here's a cool one. Out of This World and Helicopter Rescue for the Odyssey 2 manual. A cover art for Mario Kart DS. Star Wars The Clone Wars for Xbox manual. Tetris Worlds manual. Bass Landing Manual for PlayStation. NCAA Final Four 2000 Manual. Um, SpongeBob Square Pants, Lights, Camera, Pants, GameCube Manual. Finding Nemo Xbox Manual. And finally, Rascal for PlayStation. I may have this. I'm not sure. If not, I have the case. I have to look. So that's kind of cool to add that into my list. And also there's a few other things that just fell. Forgot about these. Because I looked in here briefly before I did the video. A uh, loose copy of Frogger for PlayStation. And there were, oh yeah there is, there's four, three Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It says uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, just Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game. Uh, first one's Nitro Warrior. Second one is Call from Monster. And the last one is Alley, Alley of Justice Rudra. Rudra? I don't know. Never heard of these. Don't collect them. But still cool to get some free stuff. Thanks, Jeremy. You didn't have to. And another free game. PlayStation 3 copy of MLB The Show 16. So that's cool. Another game to add to the collection. I know I don't have that. Uh, here is now into the goodies of what I purchased. First, I bought some more manuals from them. Um, if the stuff would stop static clinging to me. First, uh, Mario Super Mario World manual for Super Nintendo. And then I got a boxed Wave Race 64. I believe he told said on the stream it came complete. Just want to double check it. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. There's the manual or the cartridge. You got your manuals and stuff back here. Box is okay shape. I ain't got to complain about it. He left my sticky note on it. That's kind of funny. So there's that. That's cool to add to the collection. Put that over there. I do have some complete in box 64 games, but they're in the 
corner of my entertainment center and I cannot access them at the moment. So I've got a dresser on the side where they're in. So they are inaccessible at the moment. Uh, now some loose games first for the Genesis. X-Men 2 in Clone Wars. Cool pick up there. Next for N N64, Charlie Blast Territory. Never heard of this game, but it looks kind of cool to play. Definitely had to fire that up in the 64. And then for Super Nintendo, got a nice clean copy of Super Punch-Out. Never played this, so hopefully that's just as good as the Mike Tyson version. Speaking of Punch-Out, there's more coming here in this last package. As these are some of the heavier hitters that I purchased. If I can, again, get all this stuff from falling all over. Uh, first, I will show probably... The, Nah, not the least expensive, but probably the, the one that's not as interesting to me, but I picked it up anyways. Rampart for Super NES. As I'm stepping on some bubble, bubble wrap. Uh, next pickup for regular Nintendo, Punch-Out. Not the Mike Tyson brand, the regular Punch-Out. So that's cool. I haven't played this either, so I'll have to fire that up, play that. Uh, next, probably a uh, cool shmup to get for the Super Nintendo, and that's uh, Gradius 3. And then finally, the last pickup here, which was pretty shocking that I got this for the price that I got it for. Um, this, I got and paid the opening bid that he had for it, and nobody overbidded me, which I was kind of shocked about, because it was a pretty cheap price to get it for but that was super castlevania so definitely an awesome addition here to the collection my super nes uh library has developed quite nicely getting into this uh live stream so thank you jeremy and sunny i don't remember if i picked up any super nintendo games from you but you are part of love for retro with him a little bit Ah, there, there's the last piece of bubble wrap. Now it'll stop popping underneath me. But that will do it for this episode of Cobras on the Web. Hopefully you enjoyed the pickups, because I know I did. Thanks again, Jeremy, for the freebies. I'll definitely get into playing some of these games and enjoying them, as I've just an awesome addition to the collection. Just got to get some time, hopefully here in January here with business slowing down at work. Maybe I'll get some time to play some of these a little bit more, but we'll see. So definitely check these guys out. Leave a link in the description like I always do. Check out their stream sometime. It's a blast just to sit there and hang out with some fellow gamers and get some games for cheap prices instead of seeing eBay prices all the time. So... Anyways, I'll end this video because I'm running out of things to say. Have a good day, happy hunting, and peace out.